India, it's one of the largest countries on earth. We all know they have a rich culture, beautiful natural landscapes, mouth-watering cuisine, and the friendliest people. They played a crucial role in the advancement of civilizations. In today's list, we will show you seven amazing inventions and discoveries that originated in India that you probably didn't know about. Let's get started! Number 7 is commonly thought as a modern invention, but it actually originated in India way back in 800 BC. Plastic Surgery Sushruta is an ancient Indian Brahmin physician credited with advancing medicine in ancient India between 1000 and 800 BC. He is regarded as the father of plastic surgery. He would work on forehead flaps that were utilized to reconstruct amputated noses. Innovations in plastic surgery were slow to arrive in European nations. However, Eastern medicine caught up with plastic surgery more quickly. This was due to the introduction of Westerners to Indian procedures, which were then improved upon and applied to new situations. However, throughout the Greco-Roman era, medical advancements were achieved and these advancements were documented in ancient writings that eventually spread across society. There are several documented instances of skin grafts and reconstructive surgery in that region of the world's history. Number 6 is an invention that has come a long way and now has a high technology gadgets to help us in our day-to-day -day life. It's the weighing scale. Between 2400 BC and 1800 BC, in the Indus Valley civilization close to modern-day Pakistan, the oldest known weighing scales were used. At that time, balances were used to compare measurements and trade products. Those earliest scales were balances that used two plates attached to an overhead beam that was fastened to a central pole. Once upon a time before modern technology, smartphones, and virtual reality, board games were a huge hit during gatherings. One of the classics is number 5, Snakes and Ladders. Moksha Patam, the game's original name from ancient India, was introduced to the UK in the 1890s. The board consists of numbered riddled squares. On the board, several ladders and snakes are depicted, each linking two distinct board squares. The goal of the game is to move one's game piece from the beginning to the end, using ladders for assistance, but snakes for hindrance. The game is a race based on mere luck. Meanwhile, the historic version had its roots in morality lessons, in which the player's advancement up the board symbolizes a life journey involving virtues, which represented the ladders, and vices, which represented the snakes. In 1943, the game was presented in the US under the name Shoots and Ladders and was stripped out of its moral aspects. Number 5 is a practice originating from India that we take advantage of all around the world. It's dentistry. According to various historians, there is evidence that dentistry was performed as long back as 7000 BC in the Indus Valley Civilization, near the border of modern-day Pakistan and India. They gave to particular medicine trees and plants, and the focus on hygiene and water sanitation suggests a developed awareness of health and dental management. There is a site that is currently situated in contemporary Pakistan and it displayed proof of cures for teeth problems that use Bose drills. They detected that small holes were drilled on the surface of numerous male molar teeth and several fossils like this were discovered. Historians were astounded by how well these instruments took care of and treated teeth as well as by how few extractions and missing teeth were discovered when excavating burial sites. Another great piece of information is the very first dentist in India, Dr. Rafuddin Ahmed. He founded the Indian Dental Journal in 1925 and played a fundamental role in founding the Bengal Dentist Act in 1939. Number 4 was played by kings and military people to enhance their strategic decision-making on the battlefield. It's chess. Chess originated in the northern part of India and afterward expanded over the Asian peninsula. Its history may be traced back around 1500 years. 
The earliest precursor of modern chess is a game called Chaturanga. Chaturanga is an ancient Indian strategy game. By the 6th century, it was well established in India. It is the earliest version of chess known to exist and it is the only one in which the outcome of the game depends on the destiny of only one piece, the king. The game Chaturanga was known to be a battle simulation game that rendered the Indian military strategy of the time. In the past, some chess players would roll a dice to choose which piece to move. Unproven speculation said that chess originated as dice chess and that the game's gambling and dice components were eliminated due to Hindu religious prohibitions. Speaking about Hindu beliefs, we made a whole video about the basic teachings of Hinduism. We put a link in the description below. Go and check that out after this video. Now back to our list. Number 3 plays an important role in our hygiene. They are toilets. The world's first known urban sanitation systems may be found in the Indus Valley Civilization, which is located northwest India in Pakistan. The exterior walls of houses were built with toilets. These restrooms had vertical chutes that allowed excrements to be dumped into cesspools or public sewers. They developed the world's first urban sewage systems. Each home featured a personal bathroom that linked to a covered sewer system made of bricks and cemented with gypsum, which discharged into nearby waterways or alternately into cesspits that were cleaned and emptied on a regular basis. Number 2 is another major contribution from Sashruta, the father of plastic surgery. It is cataract surgery. According to historical writings, Sushruta was believed to have conducted the first ECCE or extracapsular cataract extraction as early as 600 BC. To remove the cataract from the eyes, he used a curved needle called a Jabamuki Salaka to loosen the lens and push the cataract out of the field of vision. Ouch, that sounds painful. Sush Ruta provides a thorough description of eye illnesses in the author tantrum, including signs, symptoms, prognosis, and treatments, both medicinal and surgical. Sush Ruta's skill is demonstrated by the fact that he was able to treat numerous prevalent eye disorders of the day with just fundamental diagnostic tools. We save the best for last. Number 1 is the Indian discovery about the Earth's orbit around the Sun. Time cycles from Hindu cosmology that are seen in the Surya Siddhanta dated from between 700 BC and 600 AD. This indicates that it takes the Earth 365.25 days to circle around the Sun. This was really the most accurate estimation on a global scale. The Surya Siddhanta even describes formulas to determine the sizes of various planets, the movements of the moon in relation to various constellations, and the orbits of numerous celestial bodies. A palm leaf manuscript from the 15th century and many more recent manuscripts include the text. Surya Siddhanta also represents a working system that generated forecasts that were reasonably accurate. The study was translated into Arabic and had an impact on medieval Islamic geography as well as the Luni Solar Hindu calendar solar year calculations. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave us a like, subscribe, and share this video. Don't forget to ring that notification bell to get notified with more mind-blowing content like this one. Thanks for watching and see you soon!